Today's the big day. I'm going to decorate for Halloween. It's one of my favorite times. I'm getting a late start this year. Uh, just because life is busy, you know? And I feel like all around, even the stores, even Instagram is like shoving Christmas down my throat. I'm not ready for that yet. I haven't even decorated for Halloween. I ran to the store a few days ago to get like last minute Halloween stuff. No, Christmas everywhere. All the Halloween stuff was like shoved in the back corner. I get it. If you want the cool stuff, you have to shop early, but not everyone is prepared. <laughs> Not everyone is a planner. So sometimes I just have to cancel out all that outside noise and just live my life and not be bombarded by all of the like next season chaos. So I do have a few new things. I'm gonna decorate my front stoop today. I did it last year. Um, I think I'm gonna elevate it even more. I have different things. Some of the stuff that I had last year I've like donated and decluttered. Some stuff is new and I have some recipes to share with you. I have, I don't remember. <laughs> Good ones and delicious ones. So like ghost Oreos, autumn harvest salad, a sharp bootery board, healthy s'mores, and I think I have one more. I don't know. I'm not very good at making lists, I guess. I also want to decorate my living room a little bit. I don't go all out. Like, you people, I'm sure you see them too, where they're like, oh, let's decorate. And then, boom, their entire house is exploded into this, like, haunted mansion. I just like to leave a little taste of the season around, and that is good enough. For now, anyway. That's the season of life I'm in. So I'll show you a couple of the new things that I got. These trees are from the thrift store so I'm excited to throw some batteries in and see if they work fingers crossed I went to TJ Maxx for like a welcome mat and I found this one I actually found one with a cat and a pumpkin almost got it ah uh, and somehow I find I kind of regret my decision not to but I got ghosts instead and then I grabbed this one and it totally reminded me of my childhood because watch only one they had that was like electronic we used to have one it was like the material of a raincoat I don't know how to explain it but you would step on it and it would make some kind of noise or song I don't really remember but from my childhood I was like that's amazing so I hope we have this for a long time to come I hope it continues to work and I got a couple of other things oh that's what I wanted to say they're working oh my gosh I wanted to film this yesterday but they, we had a whole bunch of people here working it was so loud and then you know obviously we've got a lot going on and then today we've got some tree issues so they're out there doing that so it's gonna be really loud but I you know how much longer can I wait Halloween's like tomorrow by the way did you pick out your costumes because we totally did <laughs> I finally ordered them they're not in yet but I'm kind of excited I don't know I feel like I overthink things I should it's fine oh my word and now the airplane all the noises oh boy so this is the fall stoop if you will this is like a before shot let's see how we can make spooky things up a little bit we grabbed our Halloween totes from the garage and then we have outside decorations too I found this broom I don't know if I'll put this out but when the kids get home, I'll have them like, they like to decorate outside, so I'll leave this to them. And then we have another tote full of Halloween stuff. And then I got this guy. He was an extraordinary find. I thought he was incredible. Hi there. And then I got a rug and a cauldron. There's a million and four people here, and it's about to rain, so I, I gotta get this going. Wow, hi. So when I was recording this, I thought I sounded horrible. Um, I sound totally fine, but now a few days have passed and it hit me hard and it hit me quick and pretty sure I got the flu or something horrible. One of my kids was sick, similar to how I am, but a week ago and I thought we escaped it. I thought we made it out of the clear as a family. Turns out it's just going around. I think I sound worse in my head than I do like even on this voiceover. But anyway, <clears throat> I have the sorest throat I've ever had in my entire life. I'm so sorry. It feels like there's a golf ball in there. So we'll just work through that. Okay. So my front porch, it, okay. So the rug that I'm rolling out right now in my like fall decorate with me, 
a lot of people said I needed bigger things because the front stoop is so large, I think tall. Um, I thought I picked out with some pretty big pieces. But anyway, someone mentioned that I should get a larger rug. I think this is a little too big for this. Like, I don't know. Maybe if it was a little shorter, but I think it works out just fine, obviously, because I don't care that much. But I did get this rug from where? what store? TJ Maxx when, when I was looking for the Halloween mat. And they had like nothing left. They had a ton of Christmas stuff out. And now that I'm decorated for Halloween in my head, I'm so ready for Christmas and thinking, you know, Christmas is right around the corner and Thanksgiving and we host Thanksgiving. So I think we're going to have our Christmas decorations out um, for Thanksgiving. It's something uh, that we like to do. So hopefully I'll be able to get that up. I think last year for Christmas, we bought this Grinch thing and that's the only thing we put on our front stoop. I don't know if we'll do the same thing. Obviously, I was in the thick of it last year with a newborn that was extremely needy. And look at him now. He's one years old. He's independent. He can climb around and get into dirt as we're decorating the French stoop. So, you know, it's just like, look at him go. He's just so cute. He's walking around doing his own thing. He doesn't need me to hold him 24-7 now. And that's just the progression of life, right? So... Anyway, I'm just, we're putting batteries in the lights and they do work. And I was so excited to see that they worked. And I also try to, I don't know, make like a realistic front stoop because I see all these things on YouTube and Instagram of these people literally going all out. And like that, I I just, that's not my season of life right now. Maybe one day. Like, that's the goal. That's the dream, maybe. Is that a goal or just a pipe dream? I don't know. It looks amazing, but I don't want to spend $5,000 decorating my front stoop. Do you know what I mean? Like, that stuff costs money, and it's not cheap. And just to have it for a month, I don't know. It seems a little ridiculous. So I feel like the things that I picked out, that they're perfect for the season. It excites my kids when they come to the front door. They were so excited to see it decorated. I wasn't sure what to put on this skeleton. So I threw this black dress on him that I got from Thread Up, <laughs> And I thought it was so cute. And it was more cohesive with the black scheme of the front stoop so I thought well maybe putting the Winifred costume on her would be funny but I didn't do that I don't know let me know if you think I should switch it it would be an easy switch it's not that hard but the the Winifred dress is kind of heavy and I also didn't wear it this year while I was doing the cook with me portion which I kind of should have but I, I don't know I feel like Maybe I'll do a proper Halloween cook with me, but I feel like I really did a slam dunk on my Halloween cook with me a couple of years ago in the old house. I did such awesome things. I don't know if I can top it, so I don't know. I'll try to link that below if you want to go back and get some really good like food inspiration if you're having a Halloween party or something. But the things that I threw together this year are more like convenience and simple, quick, that kind of thing. So Um, this is pretty much how it looks. And I just threw the broom right next to where I think it's kind of hidden. So it's kind of a waste to have it. I'm just trying to figure out a spot where to put all my, I'm I'm trying to figure out where to put all of my dead plants. And this orange, the candy corn, it didn't do anything. It didn't add anything extra. So I just ended up throwing those on my dining room table I don't know. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose at the thrift store. That's where I got those. And I thought it would be a good addition, but there's just not enough orange to make it work. And same with the dress. I just, I like the black one. Here's the after. You can't really tell the lights are even on, but they look cute. The little lights up here. I put a command strip to help this hat stay because it kept falling. But otherwise, I just got that hat. It's like a witch hair hat off Amazon last year. Um, I dressed her in my finest black dress. I do have the Winifred costume. I'm gonna think on that. I think the black looks nice. It's cohesive. And then over here, I just grabbed a couple of 
you know, tchotchkes, some accoutrements. But you can see the lights now that we're here. Aren't they so cute? What a great thrift store find. And then this guy is awesome and he lights up too. There he is, he lights up. Oh, and we have a happy pumpkin. I don't know where that is, but that tree is looking good. And then I grabbed this random cauldron. I don't know, I thought it would be fun, but I don't have a plant to put in it, so good enough. Does the rug look absolutely ridiculous? I think it's fine. <laughs> I brought some stuff in from outside to just decorate this. Oh wait, where's my cauldron? That's like number one. Remember last year I put my essential oils in it and it looked like a bubbling cauldron. Well, not bubbling, just like a smoking cauldron. That was fun, uh, except for, oh, and I ordered those green lights. I, where are they? Still have yet to find them. And I ordered something, a table runner, I thought would be good out there. And I found it during my closet cleanup, but I haven't, I don't know where I put it. Just a couple of things to throw out here. Who needs books when you've got witches that can hide behind the TV? How do we decorate? This TV is way too big. Priorities, I guess. I guess it gives me a reason to clean up a little bit. Cool. I'm feeling festive already. Here's my cauldron, I gotta bust it out every year. It's authentic, it's, it's for real, you guys. It's an antique from 18 something. Early 18s. What am I gonna do with these pictures? What do people, how do people decorate their houses? Oh my gosh, it doesn't even fit under the TV. Whatever, good enough. Call me Martha Stewart. Why am I gonna put these for real? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just dropped this on the floor and then I spilled my water everywhere. I don't know what the heck happened. But I'm going to put in some of my favorite essential oils. I always put warm water in here. It's the only time my plant gets a drink. And then um, these are fragrance oils. This one's actually called Hocus Pocus and I really like it. It's like a, it's the perfect fall scent. It's cinnamony, and, but not too cinnamony. I hardly have any left. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to order some more. Yesterday, I threw in this one. What is this? Autumn on Main Street? I don't know, it's okay. Hocus Pocus is one of my faves. Just picture that in a cauldron. Cute. I don't have time for all that cutesy stuff right now, but they do have these uh, Magic Candle Company fragrance oils. They do have a lot of Christmas scents. I ordered a few Christmas scents. I ordered, I'm um, clearly, have an obsession with them. I love them. I use them more than any other essential oils I've ever bought my entire life. They just smell so good and it really does fill the room, which is what I love. I brought the witches up front. I don't know how long they'll stay there because they clearly block the view of the TV, but they're cute. <coughs> I figured I'd decorate the bathroom too. I did buy some soap like back in August, I'm pretty sure. And then this over here, my favorite part, I get to pick out a candle. I don't know if I have a, Halloween candle. I stopped myself from buying them. Let's see. My candle stash, and I recently went here. They were having a sale, and I had a coupon. I don't know, they wrangled me in. I went for, you guys know I like to have one in that bathroom just because it's nice. And so I went for leaves, but they didn't have leaves. So I ended up buying a whole bunch of Christmas ones under the Christmas tree. Two of those, the perfect Christmas tree, tis the season. In the Stars, Cozy Cashmere, and then Apricot and Green Fig. They were like $3.50 each, and then I had a $10 off coupon, so this was a screaming deal. Okay, see, I didn't get candy corn. I really talked myself out of all the Halloween scents. I am pumped for Thanksgiving. I got mashed potatoes, Thanksgiving, or sorry, friend, thing. wait, yeah, that says Thanksgiving. This is Thanksgiving feast, dinner roll, Back there, all the good ones. I gave mac and cheese to one of my cousins. I have pumpkin, but that's kind of boring. Oh my heck. A couple of easy swaps, and this place is gonna be festive. Did I pick a broken one? Okay, well, this one might be broken. What the heck? Oh my heck, whatever. For looks, there she is. I'll figure it out later, and I'll get over the fact that I didn't get a spooky candle I'm gonna throw up a uh, Thanksgiving feast. I don't know, I might change that too. Oh, I don't like any of that. Eh. Whatever. I guess a trip to TJ Maxx is in my future. Maybe this will look better. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I've had this one for about 200 years. I'm surprised it's still kicking. All right, awesome. Just a couple of spooky touches, and that's all you need to make the kids happy. 
I usually hang this boo sign with the bat. I think I got it from Kirkland's a few years ago. Love it, so cute. I usually hang it up here, but we did the ghost painting. So like we got a thrifted painting and then Eleanor like added ghosts and Halloween decor. And I just love that way more. It's more personalized and tells more of a story. So I'm gonna keep that there. I also grabbed these from, I don't know, Home Goods, TJ Maxx or something. They're the ones that don't fall off when the kids like pull it. Pros and cons to that, because some, oh, it's an actual button. I thought it was like a, a, I love having these. They're so dang cute. And I love Thackeray Binks. He is my favorite. Have you guys watched any good Halloween movies lately? I know they have like the 31 days of Halloween. I, sad to report, oh, have yet to watch anything. That is my hot cocoa that I made myself this morning. Is this what it feels like to like have to reheat coffee and stuff? I don't drink coffee, but I guess this is a, close second. My throat is like, ugh. So I'm trying. I'm sorry you have to listen to this, but I feel like when I drink something hot, it makes it a little better. So cheers to you. Happy decorating. And then I have these little cat towels. They're just like hand towels. So, oh wait, these are cats too. Different kind of cats. These are spooky Halloween cats. And it came in a pack of three. So I'm just going to shove the rest in here. And that's true. I mean, look at this place. Are you spooked out? And I grabbed my Hocus Pocus cup this morning. I rarely drink like anything other than water in the morning, so this was fun. Yeah, the sticker's still on there. I've washed it, it's fine. The first treat that I'm gonna throw together, super simple, that is my life. You don't have to go through the rig and roll of doing something really complicated to make something cute. So it just requires three ingredients, if you wanna call it that. I have these sugar eyes. I got them off of Amazon, and honestly, they're such a great purchase. I use them to jazz up so many things. When I do waffles in the morning and it's like a skeleton face, pop eyeballs on it, and it's like a spooky little treat. Um, and then the other thing, I'm gonna make Oreo ghosts. Super healthy, I know. But I have golden Oreos. I'm sure you can use black, I don't care. Use whatever kind you want or have. And then I have vanilla candy coating, so like melting chocolate, and that's it. So, let's do it. I'm gonna melt this in the microwave, 30 second increments, and then stir in between. It might look like nothing is happening at first, but trust the process. This is like two minutes in, okay? And I'm super surprised that none of my kids dug into these. I've had them for probably a month. Two and a half minutes, and that's how long it took. I just laid out some parchment paper, and I'm just gonna dip the Oreo like halfway in it, lay it down, and add a couple of eyes in there. Wait, ghosts don't have eyes. Am I doing this right? Good enough. It kind of looks like Cookie Monster. Trust the process. I don't know if you remember or if you were a friend back when I did like Halloween lunches and Eleanor still talks about the time where I took a literal cheese stick and a black permanent marker and just put like circles on the cheese stick to make it look like a ghost. She still talks about it. Kids are so easy to please. Just the, the littlest effort it goes so far for them. So throwing these cookies together was the same kind of thing. I threw it in their lunch boxes the next day, just one cookie. And they thought they were so cute. Their friends were like, oh my gosh, can I have a piece of that? That's so, do you know what I mean? So just if you ever think like, oh, whatever, it will go a long way and they will remember it. And it's the little details. It doesn't have to take much effort or energy or cost. Like literally it's Oreos with, the chocolate and it just makes an impact and it's fun for the kids and they enjoy it and it's easy to throw together so that's a really good throw it idea. on a cute platter and everything looks cuter remember when i went to the store just for this platter is it worth it i don't know it is cute the next thing i'm going to throw together is slightly healthier but not too much it's still a treat but one that you don't have to feel super guilty about. You know those Aunt Franny's or Franny Ann's, like the s'more mix? I went through like four bags at a time when they were like phasing them out of Costco and they were $4 a bag. How can you turn that down? We couldn't. So collectively as a family, we went through so much of it and I thought, well, I really need to make it homemade, add some protein mix and make it slightly healthier. The recipe is on Elise Ellis's Instagram, but it calls for golden graham cereal. I made it with that last time, tasted great, but I figured I would try it with this one. It's a keto cereal, the Catalina Crunch. I love it, my family loves it. It's gluten-free, it's got a lot of protein in it. I think the macros of this is much better than the golden grams. So 
I need four cups of this. They also sell this at Costco, so it's pretty affordable, but if you buy that at a normal grocery store, it's through the roof crazy. Then I'm gonna throw in one and one third cup of mini marshmallows. I normally wouldn't measure this, but since I'm counting macros, um, I'm going to. A little more for fun. And then I found this at Costco. I normally get it just from like Thrive Market or my normal grocery store. It's a sugar-free like chocolate, which is really great. But I found it at Costco. This massive bag was probably less than this small bag, but it's dark chocolate. So since I have the semi-sweet, I'm going to throw this in. They taste great too, by the way, if you're hesitant. I'm gonna throw one cup of these in here and then one teaspoon of coconut oil just so it melts nice. I'm gonna throw this in the microwave, 30 second increments. So it's nice and melted now and here's how you, where you have to work quickly. 50 grams of chocolate protein powder. This is the kind that I have. I don't know, it's okay. It's not my favorite, not my least favorite. Mix this in. Okay, if I were to make this again, I would either swap out one or the other. Like I would do normal chocolate with the keto cereal or do the Lily's chocolate with the golden grams. I wouldn't switch them both out. It was too much, too weird. Like, do you know what I mean? Like too artificial. So that's my tip for you. Last time I made this, I think I used normal chocolate. I don't remember, but it was delicious. It was so good. So if you're looking to make something like this, I would recommend it. It tastes just as good as the Aunt Franny's or Franny Ann's, whatever the heck it's called. So yeah, and it was really simple. What is it, like four ingredients and some added protein. So you feel a little better about snacking. I went crazy. Oh my gosh, it looks like he has a black eye. We were just playing outside. He's fine. I kind of feel like that's why I'm getting sick because I kiss his feet all the time and he just, you know, he's a baby, so. He goes barefoot, it's my fault. I just love him so much, I just wanna kiss you everywhere, I wanna eat you up. But I'm going to move on to something that's actually healthy, an autumn harvest salad, something along the lines of that. It calls for some candied walnuts. I have pecans, good enough, use what you have. And the first thing I'm gonna do is cut up some sweet potatoes, throw them in the oven, and then I'll dice everything else up. It calls for like onion, feta cheese, kale, arugula, like all my favorites. I'm gonna start chopping. This would be a great dinner because it has plenty of protein, it's very filling, but I'm not sure all the kids would enjoy it. My kids like salad, but they're very particular. They only like a certain kind of salad. Sometimes they'll branch out, but you know, humans are creatures of habit. We become bigger risk takers as we age, I feel like, because Avelina, who is now 12, she is much more open-minded toward salads and flavors and stuff, so I'm dicing it I mean, I say pretty small and then I pick up like the largest piece. So just, you know, cut it however the heck you wanna eat it in a salad. I'm just gonna throw it on a sheet pan. This salad does have multiple steps, but I feel like it'll be worth it. To this, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper and olive oil, keeping things really simple. And then I'm gonna cook it at 425, I don't know, about 15 minutes. My pieces are pretty small. Mix it together before I pop it in the oven. For the next step, I'm gonna make some candied walnuts. I'm obviously using pecans, you can do either or. This is just a really easy way to get candied anything on the stove top, it's super simple. Half a cup of nuts, couple tablespoons of sugar, and then a little dash of cinnamon. And then just let the sugar cook and caramelize and coat the nuts, and you can throw it. I made double so I can save some for later and just snack on them. All right, these are done, super simple. Now for the dressing, I told you this was a labor of love, a little bit of oil and vinegar, some honey to sweeten it up, a little bit of Dijon for the emulsifier, and then just some salt and pepper to season. And it's as simple as that. Now to assemble the salad, I have some kale and I'm just going to take the leaves off the stem, super simple, no skill involved at all. Just have your Tyrannosaurus Rex hand available. The stems are just super woody and not very easy to chew. And then give it a chop. I love kale because it's super hearty. It doesn't go bad fast and it holds its shape. So it's great for soups too. Okay, I'm just gonna dump it into the bowl along with some arugula. This has a great spicy flavor. 
I told you there were a million and two people at our house this day. We had some electricians. They were working on the inside closets. And um, I can really see the end in sight when it comes to our addition. It's really coming along, which is really exciting. Um, A lot still has to be done, but a lot of progress has been made too. Still no progress on the actual wall, the hallway wall. But you know what? All in good time. I don't know. I'm trying not to think about it too much. So anyway, for the rest of the salad, I threw on some onions, some feta cheese, the sweet potatoes. I'm just cutting up an apple. Really, the sky is the limit. You can add whatever the heck you want to this salad. Pear would be a really great addition. Um, Wentworth is like newly obsessed with pears. I don't know what it is, but they are delicious. Have you had a pear recently? I think that's like a, a fall fruit. I don't know. Um, also the original recipe calls for chicken and that would be great, but I just left it out. I didn't care that much and I was just having it for lunch. So it was fine by me, but here's what it looks like. I think it would be great for even Thanksgiving or if you're having people over or something like that, because one, it's beautiful and two, it's delicious. (laughs) And those are the two things that you would want. When you have people I bought this bowl for a very special occasion. I've been waiting to make this. It is like my ultimate, I feel a toothache coming on movie snack. It is absolutely zero health benefits here. Just a bunch of sugar. But that's what Halloween is all about, right? I'm gonna make like a trick or treat bowl. It's gonna be great. I've been collecting different kinds of candies. So I'll give you a little glimpse on what I've collected. Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Check it, we've got marshmallows. What are these, gummy fangs, like vampire fangs, eyeballs, brains, candy corn. I don't really know what these are. Oh, like sour something. You know, just grab a whole handful of this while you're watching Hocus Pocus. It'll get you in the mood. Sour neon worms, oh my gosh. Throwing it all together. It's the perfect movie time snack. Gotta break it up a little bit. I feel my first cavity coming on. A little gumball eyeballs. Can't forget about the brains. These might be my absolute favorite, the sour gummies, but I really like the red and blue ones. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. There it is, that's all I really need. Oh my heck, throwing them all in. They put like a child safety lock on this one. Probably for the best. Nothing can stop me. And then the sour belts. Oh my heck, my kids love these, they're so good. I can feel the sugar dripping off of them. I'm just gonna cut these into more manageable pieces. I was gonna add some candy corn, but I feel like we've exceeded the sugar limit here. Gotta get the uh, skeleton tongs in here, make it official, give it a toss. This will definitely be served sparingly hopefully throughout the course of the next month or so, unless Alex and I get a hold of it on our own. <laughs> and then there's no willpower there. I'm happy to report that we will be eating that mixture for, what are we gonna eat it for? Oh, movie night tonight. Yes, movie night tonight. We try to have movie night once a week. And I know during October I said, oh, I'm gonna throw it on every night. No, it has not happened. It hasn't, I don't know, it's just, It's too much, I guess. But anyway, I've moved on, and I'm sure you've seen this all around town where people, um, I got this little biscuit cutter, cookie cutter, whatever the heck it is, off of Amazon. It came in a set. I actually recorded this set, but I don't know what happened to the clip. It got destroyed or something. But I love it. This is like the second one, so it's not the smallest. It's not the biggest. I don't know. It was like a set of six or something. So you just take a pumpkin pie And this one from Costco is a steal of a deal. It's like $6 for the largest pumpkin pie you'll ever see in your entire life. And um, I I thought it had really good surface area to get these circles out. So I thought this would be great, again, if you're hosting Thanksgiving or something like that, or you just want a, a quick, easy dessert that's just easy to grab. You know what I mean? Or even as an appetizer, like I'd eat this as an appetizer. You know what I mean? Um, so anyway, I've seen a million people do this and it bothers me that 
they waste so much of the pumpkin pie by putting their circles so far away from themselves. I'm like, what are you, you literally get six circles out of this? It's crazy. So I try to keep my circles really close together. And then I have seen with the rest of the pie, so it doesn't go to waste because who wants to waste pumpkin pie, right? Is you um, crumple it up. It's really, I don't know what to say about this. It's like a waste of time. It's cute, but it's kind of a waste of time if you just want pumpkin pie. But after you're done getting the circles out, I didn't do this because I had half a pie left after this because, you know, I'm not feeding the masses. It's just my family tonight. But anyway, so, or the night that I did this, and actually I did this because um, Avelina did really great at her uh, would she have a volleyball meet? She did amazing. And then Eleanor did amazing at her cross country meet. So all things are great. And so I just wanted to give a little treat for my kiddos. So anyway, what you do with the rest of the pumpkin pie is just crumble it together. Or you can throw it in a mixer and just mix it together and make little pie balls, you know, like a cake ball, but it's pie. So make a little cake ball and then you can just serve it like that. Or you can dip it in chocolate or something or drizzle it with chocolate. I've seen people do different things with it. Um, or you can just eat it like me <laughs> where you just take a little bit at a time. I'm actually not huge on pie. I love pecan pie. I wonder if this would work with pecan pie. But I would not want to waste the pecan pie. Do you know what I mean? Because, you know, essentially you're just like repurposing it, wasting it. It is cute. So... Anyway, I took some, um, what's it called? The, the whip, the cool whip or something. And I put it on the top just to make it because, you know, that's the only reason that people eat pumpkin pie. You got to have that. What is it called? The whip, something whip. And this stuff is not the best, especially if, if you're serving it right away, it works just fine. But the homemade kind um, holds up a lot longer and also it obviously tastes better, but you know, I was coming down with something and I'm just trying to do the convenient thing. So this works just fine. But after a while, um, it like melts. I don't know how else to explain it. So if you make it homemade, all you need is heavy whipping cream, a couple tablespoons of powdered sugar, vanilla, if you want to add that. And it lasts so much longer and it's, it tastes better, honestly. So there's an option for you if you want to do that. I was going to film an outro, but I don't think you want to see what I look like right now. Um, and I was going to film the sharp food report that I'm going to make for family movie night tonight, but I just, I don't know, I ran out of time, I guess. Uh, but I want to thank you for hanging out with me and enduring my sickness and my voice <laughs> the way that it is. I appreciate your friendship. And if you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day, maybe a little more next time. And I'll see you then. Bye.